Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of an honest review. If you are subscribed to my channel, you already know that what I do is that I review gear that I particularly like or that I feel that could be, uh, you know, worthwhile um, for anywhere between long endurance events, hiking, running, travel, anything outdoors related. It's, it's what I like to try. And I like to give honest reviews because sometimes we always find these really cool unboxing videos, but there's not a lot of information of how products perform over time. So that's why we call this channel an honest review. And for today's review, I'm going to be reviewing another Salomon pack. Um, if you follow this channel, you know that I'm a huge Salomon fan, which is why a lot of the things that I review here are from Salomon. Uh, full disclosure, so far, none of the products that I have reviewed have been provided uh, by Salomon or to, you know, pursuing to sell anything. So um, that's why I review a lot of Salomon things in my in my channel. And today we have the XT15 hiking pack, hiking backpack. So um, if I'm gonna leave the link in the comments, um, I'd be looking for a good um, a good light backpack. Uh, I've tried from Salomon. Also, their hiking packs. Again, I'm gonna leave the, the link here on the comments. I found that the 35 liter pack that they had was probably not great because there's two things that you have to consider when you're considering backpacks. One is the capacity, and other one, what's the load grading that it has. That means how much um, weight it's designed to hold. Uh, to give you guys an example, um, if we have a 45 liter backpack, if it's an ultra light backpack, it's grading is gonna be to carry around 25 to 30 pounds tops in a 45 liter, which is very little weight for a very big volume. However, if you get a full frame backpacking backpack that is not ultra light in category, that grading may go up to 35 to 45 pounds. So um, that being said, when we're talking about light backpacks, their grading is usually uh, not great. So it's usually meant for very light loads. Now, I'm going to start with the things that I really like about this pack and then I'm going to go through the things that I didn't like and then it's kind of your choice whether you want to make, you want to, um, you know, get this pack or not. So, I've been moving this around, right? As you can see, this is a very light uh, backpack. There's not a, a lot of structure to it. So, uh, some things that I really like is that I just recently came back from a 10-day trip and I was, I, I was, changing a lot of, you know, the locations that I was at. So I brought a 50 liter pack with me as luggage so I can move through airports, trains, taxis, and so on. And I made this my carry-on and my, let's say, adventure pack. And I really, that's something that I really liked is really, I can just roll it like so. And as you can see, it doesn't take a lot of room. It's barely bigger than an Nalgene bottle so I could stick it in the side pocket of my actually, you know, backpacking bag that I was luggage. So, uh, very comp compressible, something that is really, really cool about it. Another thing that, uh, that I really like, and let's stay on that topic, is that even though this is a very light backpack, um, the fact that the whole body, it's one continuous foam, you can see uh, we have some Nice padding here. It's 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 a very light foam. It doesn't give a lot of structure, but the fact that it's just a full continuous piece, and also the fact that the straps are really part of the body, you can see how they're connected. It's not just two individual straps. Uh, makes it really comfortable, even though when you have a lot of weight in it. And you know, a lot of weight means in my case, I use it for I used it for travel. Like if you're carrying, you know, bottles and souvenirs or little things that are like that. However, before I used it for travel, I also used it for running. So in this pack, I also found, I also put in, you know, an extra pair of shoes. I was doing a very, a very long hike and I wanted to have another pair of shoes just in case. I had uh, two liters of water, um, two different jackets, all the electronics and so on and so forth. And it was still very comfortable to carry. Um, so I think that that it's a lot, it has a lot to do with the fact, like I said, that it's just one full continuous body versus being two independent straps. Um, you know, what Salomon is doing with this pack is trying to go with that kind of like vest-like feel for it. So 
when I put it on, it has two straps here. Now this, these straps uh, have a little bit of an elastic band right here in the end. So that way you can really tighten it and have everything really snug to your body without compromising comfort, right? So it has uh, a little uh, elastic band here to keep the extra slack, um, but you can always tighten it. And because you have the elastic portion here, you can still expand and move very freely, right? So as you can see, it's a very, it's very much like a, like a, like a vest. Also, probably you notice there's a little bit of a daisy chain here on both sides. So that way you can change these clips to adjust whatever you want. It also, uh, it's not just a matter of how big you are in terms of your anatomy, but for example, for, for female users, you may want to have these more separated. Uh, also, if you're, if you're a guy that has like huge pecs, you also want to have those really separated. So that is super, uh, you know, super convenient. Then the second portion is the hip belt, which you can see right here. Of course, not, not being like, uh, not being a full frame pack, there's not adjustability at all. It just lands where it lands. I am 5'9". Uh, that's 175 centimeters roughly if you are in a metric system country and it fits just fine. We just have these two adjustments right here. Also an elastic band right here to keep the slack, which is nice. And we have these two pockets. And now I'm gonna go in the topic of, well, there you see a little bit of how it fits. Now I'm gonna go into the topic of the, the pockets themselves. So the pockets are great. It's one of my favorite features here because they're stretchy. So you can stuff a lot in this side pocket. For example, in this side pocket, I was carrying my GoPro along with this tripod, along with an extra battery. It was like a side pocket of electronics, so to speak. And it's great. It has just a lot of capacity. Talk about the ones that you probably already noticed in the front. They're also very elastic. So in here, um, I was carrying my cell phone and my sunglasses in one, and the other one I had for Lickies and Chewies, basically nutrition. And the other cool thing about these ones is that these are meant to also have a 500 millimeter soft flask. So a full water, 500 millimeter water bottle will fit in here. And there's a little opening right here for the Vite valve, for where you drink. I also put in here, I have done that, I have put in here uh, one of those plastic bottles, water bottles that you buy in a store, uh, they're roughly the same size, and they will fit here. You just put the zipper and probably the top is kind of like hanging out, but they are, I mean, this is full capacity um, pockets right here. So I really love this, and if you have the Salomon flasks, these are great because then the, the bite valve or the straw, depending on which version you have, comes out of here. If you have the straw, you can also weave it through here. And it's amazing because it's a very nice way to have hydration, right? Um, continuing on the pockets, it has a top pocket right here. As you can see, it's fairly good in capacity. It has a key clip to it. so. You can have your keys and make sure that they don't get lost. It has good capacity. I love these ones for things that I need to have on the go. Like for example, uh, bandana, uh, nowadays, you know, hand sanitizer, things like this that I want to have super handy. So that is in terms of pockets. And then we go to the main cop pocket, the main compartment, which is the 15 liters that Salomon has for the grading of this pack. Just a full, a full bag. It's a little bit bigger towards the bottom than it is to the front, as you can, uh, to the top, as you can see, it's a little bit tapered. So there you see the shape of it, right? And that also goes for the bladder. So it's water bladder compatible, but as you can see here, you know, I was kind of like surprised that this, this is usually higher, so your bladder can sit higher up against your back. But because this has no structure and it's fairly long, 
I try to make a little knot to bring this a little bit higher up. And what happened is that my pack just collapsed like this, right? Like the top just collapsed with the weight. So this is this high. It's kind of like just preventing your, your bladder to sink into the very bottom, but it's more so so that your water sits lower, right? And it goes into this pocket, which is also very, very big, right? I kind of didn't like that specifically because I'm a huge fan of having the water very high up on your back. Uh, but you know, it was not a deal. It was not a deal breaker. And then it has a dual sleeper closure. Uh, speaking of the closure, I was in a very, uh, I was on a hike. It was very wet. Winds were really, 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 really strong winds with rain and mist and so on and so forth. And I was, I was not hanging alone. And my, the contents of my bag were perfectly dry. I was very, very surprised. So I cannot go and say that it's waterproof because I don't know if it's, if, I mean, it's not, it's really not waterproof because of several things. For example, we have the holes for the hose. You'll get water in there, right? Do we have certainly some transpiration from, from the back panel is gonna penetrate into your pack if, you're, if you have a lot of transpiration going on or sweat. Uh, so I know, I know it's, I, I cannot make the, the claim that it's waterproof, but it's very, very water resistance, resistant. And I was super surprised by it. Um, so there's that. Um, and the last, the last feature here in the back, as you can already tell, it has this bungee cord to attach things on the back. That was great. I used that for my hat. I wear a, a brim hat, so that was amazing. And you can actually play, play with it because you can also... I'll hook those as well. And then you have a pull cord right here. And now you don't have anything in there at all. Right? So very, very nice. Very nice that, that by Salomon. I really love having the opportunity to put stuff that it's light, but it's just clunky outside. Uh, that's what I also like mesh, mesh pockets in, in, the, in the backpacks. So that's, that's a great feature right there. So overall, this has performed well. I've had this for a little bit over a year now. I've used it for hiking, for winter running, where I need to have a little bit more capacity than my vest because I'm gonna carry extra jackets and so on. Winter running in the, in the mountains, it's, you need a little bit more gear. And like I said, I just recently used it as my, my go-to travel bag and it performed really well. Oh, lastly, let me show you here. We have two bungee cords here on the side for your hiking poles which I, I also used and it was just, it was great. I mean, they perform exactly as they should. So my, I really like this bag. I think it's a great feature. It's a great, it's a great investment. It's not that, that uh, expensive. Actually, I have it here in my computer. It just goes for a hundred bucks. So you cannot beat that. I mean, for a hundred dollars, it's a solid pack that is gonna perform very well. It's very durable. Like I said, I've had it for a year. It cleans really well, very easy to wash. Um, the one thing that that the one one thing that I don't like, which is also one of the nice features about it that I commented at the beginning, is that there's there's a total lack of structure, right? So that's the one thing uh, that for the purpose that I recently used for, which was traveling, uh, a little bit of structure would have been great. But then again, this is not a travel bag. This is a hiking and running bag, right? So my opinion comes from using it for another purpose. I wish it had a little bit more structure because for example, I was carrying, uh, if I was carrying my computer, I would like to have a little bit of structure. And when I sit, if I if get to a restaurant and sit down on a chair, it just does exactly this, flops. Um, but again, it's because I was using it for, as a, my main travel bag. For running and hiking, this, is, this doesn't make a difference because this is gonna sit on your back most of the time. So it really doesn't matter if it doesn't have any structure. So that is, that's it. That's my, my take on, on the Salomon XT15. I think it's a very, very good bag. I think it's an amazing backpack, very easy to carry with you if you're traveling, as I said. Um, if you are doing some travel and you know you're gonna have hiking and running, this is, for example, a great, a great travel companion in that regards. Um, you cannot, from, from the options that you have for $100 or less, I think this is one of the best ones out there. 
definitely one of the best ones out there. And you know, Salomon has a huge tradition of, of outdoorsmanship and of staying light on the mountain. You won't find any of their packs that have a structure. That's part of what it is. Uh, it's just making them light, make them very transferable, make them move with your body. So, you know, you have to know what you're getting into with each brand. Each brand has a different approach to their gear. Salomon is all about being light, being efficient, have good, good movement with your body. And the XT15 definitely does just that. So this would be following the advanced 12 liters is their, their biggest, their biggest vest. So now they will be moved to this vest like backpack, which is the XT15. Um, so as usual, let me know in your comments if you have any questions. If you've tried it, you have a different opinion. Also, let me know if there's anything else you would need to, you would like to see here. Let me know. This is my honors review of the XC15, and I'll see you in the next episode.